Hello, our little bambinos. Welcome back or welcome to our channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Mia and I am one half of the channel, Gia and Mia. And today I will be doing an Amazon favorites video. But before we get started, here is a little disclaimer. I am a little bit sick. And um, so if I sound congested, I am. <laughs> and um, unfortunately, I do apologize, but we're just gonna have to deal with it together. Um, and then really quickly, just because I like the way that Gia did it in her video, I'm just gonna go through my outfit of the day. Um, my headband is from Forever 21. I just threw it on to kind of help with my whole hair situation going on right now. My jewelry, my necklaces were gifts, so there's not really a place that I know that it came from. My jewelry, this is David Yurman. This is Pandora, Pandora, Pandora. Uh, Apple Watch. <laughs> Um, what else? Oh my gosh, I just got my eyebrows done today, so they look fluffy. And I just got my eyelashes lifted, so we're ready to rock and roll, guys. We're ready to rock and roll. All right, so this is an Amazon's favorites video. This is all the stuff that I collected within probably the past year or so, and everything that I'm going to show you, I absolutely love and adore. I'm gonna tell you why I love and adore them. Category, we have self-care and tech as our first category. Our first item is going to be this lovely little toothbrush. I use her every day. I use her every day. She is, um, I don't even know how to pronounce what she is. Um, but I got her off of Amazon. She is cute. She is pink. She comes with a bajillion million heads <laughs> that um, it came with. It has, uh, let me see, five different settings. White, clean, sensitive, polish, and massage. It comes obviously with the charger for it. I just honestly needed a um, new, what is it called, electric toothbrush. And I really liked the color of this one. I liked that it had all the different um, settings on it. So I don't know, I'm just a sucker for a good deal and a good color. So there's that. This is the scalp scrubber. Um, I don't know if it says a brand on it, Queen Will. I um, use this with a scalp scrub normally or um, just regular shampoo. This has helped my scalp a lot. I tend to have extremely dry scalp, especially in like the winter and the fall, and it gets a bit flaky. So when I pull this out, it's end game. It's amazing. And it has a vibration setting, two settings, 10 out of 10. These eye masks, again, they're a pink color. I don't know how many came in a pack, honestly, if, I could find out, I'll let you know. Either way, all these items are gonna be listed in the description, I'm gonna organize it. So if you guys are curious about it, you could just click the link and it'll say it on there. But um, yeah, it came in a pack of, I wanna say it was like 20 or 50, it was a lot. But these are really nice, they were relatively cheap and they provide the same like cooling effect. I work. tend to have pretty puffy eyes and um, pretty dark eye bags dark under eye bags <laughs> i forget what it's called but um they're really nice and they tend to help out a lot with that the next item that i have on this list is a burt's bees baby powder and i know what, what you're thinking like why do you have baby powder listen listen when it comes to me i have quite thick thighs and um listen sometimes when you're wearing a skirt or a dress or shorts and your legs are rubbing together and they're chafing, you get some chub rub going on, okay? To prevent that, I put on baby powder. This is not only 100% um, natural, but it is formulated for delicate skin, for babies, obviously. It smells nice, it's not irritating, it wasn't tested on animals, and it's a recyclable bottle. I love Burt's Bees, so. Another 10 out of 10. Okay, so the next item that we have on the list is this Vanity Planet um, face wash, or face washer. It comes with three separate heads. It has this one, this one, and then another one that it looks just like this one. Um, 
they're super soft, but they I feel really nice and clean whenever I use it with my face cleanser. It has um, two or three different settings. Two settings. Um, I just like it a lot. It's easy to use. I feel like I'm properly cleaning my face when I use it. It was relatively inexpensive and I love the color purple and it comes in this nice case. 10 out of 10. All right, so the next item that I have on this list is the phone case that I have on my phone right now. I would definitely show you guys if I could, but I'm using my phone to record right now. So I'm just gonna insert a picture of it here. And yeah, I like it because I like the silicone feel of the case. I also really enjoy the um, neutral brown color to it, but it's not like a deep brown. It's sort of like a lighter medium-ish tone brown, I guess you could call it. Um, yeah, and it's just like a nice, simple fall case. Screen protectors I got from Amazon. Um, it is for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's a two pack and it also comes with glass lens protector. There I have um, one of the lens protectors and one of the screen protectors on my phones currently, on my phone currently. But this is what the camera lens looks like. I have the gold one, so normally the rim where it's black here is gold on my phone. But with it on it, it's black, which I kind of like that it changes it up a little bit. There's screen protectors, it's just a regular old screen protector. The one thing that I was nervous about, if I'm being honest, is the fact that it doesn't come with um, a guide. Because you know how like some screen protectors that you buy come with like a guide to help you like perfectly place your screen protector on your phone with? This one didn't and I was a little bit nervous about that because I absolutely hate it when I get air bubbles in my phone. Um, but I didn't and it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't hard at all. So, um, and also comes with this little scraper tool to help get the air bubbles out. And yeah, so far so good. No item on this list is this case for my Apple Watch. It has a little plastic screen in it and it is, this one's gold and it has these little gems around it. Um, it came in a pack of, I want to say either five or six, and um, they came in all different colors. There was like a gold one, a black one, a clear one, pink, uh, silver. I think there was a red one too. It just came in like a bunch of different colors. And it's really nice because then you're able to like switch it up and it's really easy to take off. You just pop it right off and then to put it on is just as easy. And I like it. I feel like my... Um, watch is a little bit more protected and it like just jazzes it up a little bit. I feel like it matches my band a bit better because it's more of like a pinky tone underneath. Let me see. Yeah, it's more of like a pinky-ish tone underneath than like a full on um, gold. So with this case on top of it, I feel like it matches just a little bit better. <laughs> okay, for our next category, we have dog items. And if you guys didn't know, I have two dogs. I have a Labradoodle named Lily and a Yorkie Poo named Lila. And the pictures will go right here. My little babies. Okay, so for them, we're gonna start off with these dog wipes. Earth rated, unscented, no perfume, alcohol free, hypoallergenic, it comes with 100 in a pack. We just use it to freshen um, them up a little bit. So yeah, we just use it to freshen them up a little bit. We just use it to clean them off after taking them out for a walk to get off any like dust or pollen or dirt and whatnot. Um, it's good to use it in between like baths because you don't want to dry out their skin, especially during like the fall and the winter. And then it's, you know, just good for any kind of use, especially if we take them anywhere like, um, out hiking, walking, or to like a friend's or family member's house. It's just nice to have on hand just in case. So our next item is going to be these Zesty Paws Omega Bites. I love, 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 love Zesty Paws. They also make this allergen immuno bites that my dogs absolutely love. Both of them have 
seasonal allergies and um, it helps them um, like tremendously. But right now we switched over to the Omega Bites for skin and coat. Uh, it contains omega fatty acids with EPA and DHA. Soften skin and nourishes their coats and it is chicken flavored and it has 90 chews in them. My dogs absolutely love it and I just crush it up because it turns into a powder when you crush it. I just crush it up on top of their food or I, you could give it to them as a treat. Either or, they love it and I love it because I could definitely see a difference in both of their coats and textures. The next item on the list is this wire brush to put out the wires. You just press the button on the back. It is amazing. I use it on both of the dogs and it's super easy to clean because all you have to do is just push the button. It retracts the wires and then you just put your fingers through it and you get off all the hair. Like how? How much easier can it get? It's just amazing. I love it so much. Okay, so the next item on our list is this car seat. Instead of taking it out and showing you guys, I decided to just take a picture of it just to make it easier. But yes, so I put Lily normally in the car seat and then um, Lila normally goes on the passenger's lap or she goes into a dog baggie. Just because Lily's bigger, she sits in the seat and Lila's obviously smaller, so she'll sit in the bag or she'll sit on top of the passenger if there's a passenger in my car. This Kong, this one's gross, I'm so sorry, but they use it all the time. Um, they love playing with it, it's super durable, and Lily especially goes through dog toys like I can't even tell you. I was replacing dog toys almost like every single like week. She would just go through so many and she still does. Like she can't play with like the normal like stuffed animal type of dog toy. No, it has to be like a rubber, hard to destroy <laughs> toy or it's just not it. It's just not it. She'll go through it way too quickly and there's just a mess all over my apartment then. And this one has literally been the only type of dog toy that has lasted. I don't know why, I don't know how, but for whatever reason it's worked. And I'm here for it. The list for this category is this dog leash. I'm gonna insert a picture of me using the dog leash here. But it's a double-ended dog leash. I could have both the dogs on the same leash. I didn't realize how much of a necessity this was until I tried walking my dogs without it. And when I tell you that all of like both the leashes, if you have separate leashes, get tangled constantly, constantly because the girls would just go in different directions and then they would like cross paths with each other and they would try to play with each other. If you hear Lily in the background, I'm sorry. But yeah, so it was a necessity to get this because they cannot tangle themselves up in this one like they could if they had two separate leashes. This prevents any tangles, any mishaps, any whatnots, whatever. And then I just put like a doggy bag in here to collect their poop when we go on walks. And yeah, that's it for this category, guys. Uh, I'm gonna really quickly just go through the miscellaneous one. Both of these have to be pictures, unfortunately, but um, one of them being my car steering wheel cover. It is a lovely cheetah print look. Um, that was me inserting the picture. <laughs> And um, I love it. I used to have one, right? It was like a gray one that I got off of Amazon as well. I thought it was going to be amazing because it had like really long and luscious fur, but it got matted super quickly because I'm a super like sweaty person. I just produce a lot of heat. So because of that, it made the fur get really matted, but I haven't noticed that happening with this one because it's uh, shorter hair, but it's still fluffy. So I still get the same effect of keeping like my hands warm. It's still stylish, but it's not getting matted like the other one was. And it could have just been because that was poorer quality than this one, or it could have just been because I'm a sweaty person and I just got it matted because I'm gross. <laughs> the miscellaneous is my car coasters. So I don't like 10 out of 10 love this one. I would probably rate it like a seven out of 10. It is a cute coaster still. 
and I like it and it it serves its purpose however it is a, it is a tad bit smaller than I expected and I wish it was a smidge bigger because my car I guess has bigger cup holders I don't know I just feel like for anybody's car this is kind of small in size but it's still really cute and it serves its purpose by not getting everything like grossly wet. Our um, school slash organization category. First item on the school slash organization category is this file organizer. I put all of my documents in here and by all of them, I mean all of them. So I have all of my dog documents files in here and I put it comes with these little tabs that I just wrote on just so I could stay organized because from from living in an apartment and um, just whatnot you need to have a lot of documentation of your, your life your animals and whatnot and it, it's just convenient to have it all in one place I guess this is called adulting now <laughs> but um, yeah so I just keep all of my dog files in one place I find it more convenient than keeping it in the email or online just because I have a physical copy of it and nine times out of ten you're gonna need a physical copy of it anyway um, so I have all of their like registration forms all of their vaccination records apartment lease any work paychecks always keep your pay stubs people okay I didn't do that for the longest time I would always 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 throw them out but sometimes like when you're going to get an apartment or um, just like some weird circumstances come up where you need documentation and proof of your workplace or how much you get paid and whatnot, just keep them, you know? Like even if you do like have your online copy of it, make sure it's easily like accessible. A nice neutral color, easy to store, doesn't take up a lot of space. <laughs> so my next item, is going to be my MacBook case. Oh, you can see the ring light. It's just a plain clear case. I've gotten the same exact one last year for this same exact MacBook. I think, what is it called? A Mac MacBook Air? And it was filled with stickers and I was just kind of over it. So <laughs> I replaced it with this one and now I'm filling it up with stickers again. But um, yeah, I just really like this case. Hasn't done me wrong. Lasts me maybe like a year and a half the last time I had it, so I'm expecting it to last me that long this time. Protects my case like I want it to. And I'm able to put stickers on my laptop without regretting it. So if you're interested in that, link is in the description. And then the next item on my list is this clipboard. It's also like a folder in one. I use this mainly just for my field work, so I don't have to carry that much um, with me. I keep all my files, paperwork, documentation, lessons, whatnot in here, and then I have something to write on as well. Um, definitely recommend it if you're in student teaching or the field work um, for education. I also saw that a lot of people use it, um, this one in particular for like nursing and stuff like that too, which I think is cool. But yeah, I just wanted something where I could put everything in one place and also have something to write on too. So I definitely recommend this one. It definitely came in handy. And it's such a pretty color too. Like it's like pretty, pretty blue last items on my list. This is my yellow pencil case that I got off of Amazon, obviously. And it has two zippers to open, this pocket right here, and then um, and then it has a pocket up top. I'm just able to store everything that I need to store in here. My highlighters that I also got off of Amazon, pencils that I also got off of Amazon, and this sticky notepad. I also got off of Amazon. Just all in one place. It's a decent size, but it doesn't take up too much room. And it's like a nice style. It's kind of like a boho-y, kind of a 
beachy kind of a vibe. And I liked it. Like, I just thought it was like an easy, like quick, like whatever kind of a pencil case. And um, I don't know, I love pencil cases. I don't like free roaming pencils and pens in my bags. I just feel like super disorganized when it's cluttery like that. It's ooh, not, my, not my cup of tea. All right, guys, it's time for the last category, which is going to be home slash apartment items slash decor. Yeah, we'll go with that. So our first item on the list is this wine opener. Okay, so I didn't have a wine opener for the longest time, right? But then I didn't want a regular wine opener. I wanted a cool wine opener. And this one is electric. She's cool, she charges in my wall, and she's sleek. And she's fun. And I like to open wine with her. Hmm. My next item on the list is this alarm clock. Inserting a picture. I just have it in my apartment on like a little ledge that's like in between my kitchen and my living room area. Just because there's, we didn't really want like a clock hanging up on the wall, but we also wanted to be able to tell time because we don't have cable. So it doesn't say it on like the cable box. So we needed a clock and that's like a sleek design that goes with my apartment theme. So there you go. Whoa there. Must have this. this is a Bissell vacuum. It's like a mini vacuum cleaner. It has one setting. It's easy. It cleans up any crumbs that might be on your counter, on your couch, where your dogs might eat their cookies on. Easy cleanup, guys, easy cleanup. This, I don't think I'll ever be able to live without it. Just saying. The next item is this frother. You just press the top and then it'll froth your creamer. It could froth your green tea, your matcha, whatever you want. And it comes with this cute little stand so it just chills out on my countertop in my kitchen. The item is this salt and pepper shakers. They will freshly grind your salt and your pepper. And they come in this cute little stand. So let me show you, let me show you. You just take off the top and then you just grind your salt or your pepper. It's just like a cute, sleek design, but it's also convenient if you want to freshly grind, freshly grind your salt or your pepper. And on my list is this mail and key organizer. It's where I put all my keys. It is where I put all my mail. And um, currently it's on my wall, so I can't show it to you guys right now, but this is the picture of it. And I used to put um, my dog's leashes on there before I got their own separate holder for it that's on the wall. It says their names on it, it's super cute, but I didn't get it off of Amazon, so got it off of Etsy. Yep. Is this napkin holder, Ooh, is this napkin holder. I love like the farmhouse design of it. So cute, so cute. Holds napkins. Decently sturdy, it's a win for me. Thanks, Amazon. All right, two more items, guys, two more items, and then we're done. My next item is this first, like, I feel like it's like one of my only like actual decor, is this coffee bar sign. If you know me, you know that I drink a lot of coffee. You know that I have a lot of coffee equipment items in my apartment. So, coffee bar is the vibe. And um, it's a cute little sign. You could either hang it up or like I do, I just put it on like the edge of like the, um, like the splash design and the countertop, if that makes sense. There's like a small little ledge and I just have it chilling up there. Final item, final item for this video is my hyper chiller. This is a picture of what it looks like. Basically what it is, is it has water that you put in it that's frozen. And then you put in a hot beverage, like how I put in my hot coffee in there. And you just like swish it around for like 30 seconds and it'll cool down your drink, right? So instead of putting ice into your coffee and having it get all melty and now it just tastes like watered down coffee, now you will have a cold drink and then you can put ice cubes in it without it tasting like water and it's amazing it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed filming it and sharing with you guys if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel 
And if you guys have any suggestions or really anything that you want to talk about, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And just a reminder that everything that I mentioned in today's video, I will have linked down below so you guys have easier access to it. Yeah, if you guys like Amazon favorites videos, make sure to let me know by leaving a comment down below and liking the video. And don't forget that our schedule is that every Wednesday I post, every Friday Gia will post, and on Sundays we will post a video together, either real life together or virtually together. We will do our best. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys, you'll see Gia Friday for a video, and then I'll see you guys again on Sunday.